Hello, Kaya's Crew. I'm Kaya's Corners, and yeah, I pretty much just got bored, and my my tablet is in lower battery, like 45%, but I'm still going to do this just to get this whole series over with, and so I can move on to, well, a bad, well, a bad series, but you know, just trying to get Kenya over with since we're done with the loss me and my four freaking friends journal. It's even whipped off. So we'll continue Kenya with Kenya. Yay. Want to take only chapter six. Music to my ears. I went back to acting class. Hi, Kenya, said Sammy. What are you doing here? I asked. Kenya said, Miss Sis Castley, you you're supposed supposed with one P, supposed to go to another class. Oh, I said, so I walked away and started checking my schedule, and it said I got Spanish. Wait, is that how Spanish spelled? spelled? I forgot. But I hate Spanish, so I skipped to music. Are you kidding me? Wait, why are there all electives? I just noticed that there's not even, like, one, one class that you're supposed to have like science and social studies and and math even though most of the math you don't even need and English like there's not even one of those classes she went well except for when she went to Sammy's class but that was Sammy's class so why don't she go there I guess because it'll be boring I don't know and also you can't just this story you can't just say, oh, Spanish in my schedule? Well, I hate Spanish, so I'm not going to. It's like saying, like, like just what I said before. I hate math, so I'm not going to math class. No, you have to go there. It's, it's the law. So I skip to music. When I go to music class, I sit in, I sit at my seat. But Rosa and Werner was not in the same schedule as me. Surprise! That's gonna happen. But luck, but lucky McKenna is. Hello, guys. I'm Mr. Medley, and I'm going and I'm gonna teach you about music. He said. Oh, okay. Well, teach us music. So now we this. We know. So now we these notes can. Oh. Kenya, do it. Okay. What are you doing with me, Violet? I read. Do it. Do it again, but don't mix them up, said Mr. Medley. Now, when we do it, now, McKenna, you do it, said Mr. Medley. Med do it, Violet. Okay, that's not even music class. That's mostly like singing or choir class, not music. Be more specific. McKenna, we you got it wrong, McKenna. He said, "In a few minutes later, then we have free time." Oh, wow, that's it. McKenna write a song with music notes. Uh. I just pulled it, pulled it up. Can ya see this? Said McKenna. Then I see, but McKenna just wrote random notes. Uh, I said. What did these notes say? I asked. I have no idea, said McKenna. But why would you make a song if you don't know what they are? I asked again. So I could fit in. So I could fit in, she said. Well, this morning, my first subject is gym, but I 
didn't fit in with the other guys and old girls. Well, guess what? I don't fit in in school. Not just in one class, but in school. So does that mean I don't have to go to school anymore since I don't fit in? I'm not even talking about one class. I'm talking about the entire school. I don't fit in. So that means I could just walk out of school because I don't fit in. Wish that was the reality. But nope, you have to go there. And it's hell, I know, but it's what you have to do. What a sad story, McKenna cried. Ah oh, yeah, so sad, boo-hoo. My whole life is sad. But I know you're not gonna pass, I said. Wait, why? McKenna asked, and I ran to Mr. Maddie's desk. Mr. Maddie, is McKenna go gonna fail? I asked. Okay, it's the first day of school, so why would they immediately fail students? Yes, he said, and I go back to McKenna, so... Wait, so she's gonna fail like that already? It's the first day of school! You gotta be kidding me. So McKenna's, you know, to McKenna, so I crossed my arms like holding her that she was wrong. Fine, oh fine, you're right, said McKenna, but did your, but did you fail? Then I went to Mr. Maddie's desk again. Mr. Maddie, did I pass? I blinked. Yes, you did, Kenya. Hail Tijon. He said, then I told Khan, wait, what? Touch his shoulder. Don't say my full name, I said. Oh, why will you touch on his shoulder? Okay, sorry, Kenya, Fana, hell, hell, Jitten, Mr. Med Medley said. Just call me Kenya, I said. Oh, wow, being that. Okay. Since when can students tell teachers off? Then I go back to McKenna. See, I said, well, too bad we're not in the same schedule, said McKenna. Oh, it okay, I said. At least we still have acting class together, I said. Yeah, that's the good news. Okay, so she just got kicked out of the class in the first day of school. Okay, okay guys, break time is over, so McKenna and some other students get out of here. So Mr. Maddie, it's the first day of school, so why are you already kicking out students? So McKenna was the first one who laughed. Okay guys, this first, the first grader need your help getting ready for their file trip. So... Everyone in 10th grade could help them, said Mr. Maddie, but some people in my schedule are 9th graders just like me. Except, I don't even, like, imagine if you, in the first year of school, you got kicked out of one of your classes. So when Mr. Maddie was done talking, we got to the bus like it was a file trip and go to elementary school. Yay. Okay, so I think just like the love combat, this, this is starting to get hilariously bad. First graders and me, yay. We stop at Parker's Elementary School. Cool, a different school, I said. Wana and I used to be in this school, said Rosa. Then the bus driver stopped at the bus and we got off of the bus. <sighs> You repeated three words. Wait, no, you repeated one word three times. So then the bus driver stopped the bus and we got off of the bus. Why would you repeat that? 
Okay, guys, there's four f first grade class, so you'll sp sp spit up by the by this note that Miss Penny was holding a list of which McKenna, Rosa, and Werner and I was was in Mrs. P Pecknall class. Yay! I said. We all in the same class. Yay! Then Miss Penny gave us the map of where Mrs. Pecknall is. We came to Mrs. Pecknall class. Okay, we gave Mrs. Pecknall, Mrs. Pecknall. Okay. Class, here's your special guest that will help you with your file, with you file trip to the Detroit Zoo, said Mrs. Pecknall. We go, we're going, we'll, we're, no, we're going to a zoo. Yay! I asked, we know we're going to, z it doesn't even have a question mark. No, the seniors are, she said. Senior citizens, McKenna asked. No, the seniors at your school, at your school, she said back. Oh, I said. Again, in the top page of, it says sneak peek at movie at other page. Again, great job repeating two of the same words. I'm proud of you. Sneak peek at movie at other page. Because I guess I'll have my sister want a sneak peek at, you know, the next Kenya movie, which is, I remember it being really stupid and. Realistic fiction, everybody. So, guys, what your, what what your go do is I will pick your buddy and you're going to write your name and decorate your paper. She said. Does anyone have any question? Then my buddy waves her hand. Okay, how do you know who your buddy is automatically? Yes, does the high schooler do one too? My buddy asks. Sure, because there was the one who helped you, so includes your buddies, she said. Then one of my classmates from acting class passed out the paper. When she was done, Mrs. Pecknall picked our buddies. Okay, everyone, here will be your buddies, Mrs. Pecknall started. McKenna with Michaela, Rosa with Walla. Wana with Wyland, uh, Kenya with Kayla. This should have been a coincidence that that's just nameless. I don't even know what to call it. <sighs> Mrs. Pagnall continued. Contents. When she was finished, we don't know who they are, so we stand by the desk because they have name tag. In 12 seconds later, ow. Okay, and here's a sneak peek. Wait, no, but first I need to contain this sentence. Buddies finally came. Okay, now. Sneak peek at the movie, so. You know what? I'm gonna read it anyways. Just in case, like, you know, it's not just. This sneak peek is your sneak peek, so you'll know how stupid the movie is. Yeah. So, yeah. Someone have to help Sammy, said Mr. Meddy. I'll do it, said Kenya. I'm not even going to spoil that. Did you tell them your secret, said Rosa and Werner's dad? Nope, said Rosa. What are their secrets you're about to find out? Hey, wanna hag out? S wanna hag out? Said Wanna. Sorry, I have to help Sammy, said Kenya. And that's it. That's all you get. I'm, I, know, I know the answers, but I'm not going to tell you. I remember them, and here's a hint. It's stupid. Hey, you must be Kenya. What your name? Kayla asked. Kenya, I said. You just said that. Oh, she said. Anyways, let's get started. Then, then Kayla, 
get then Kayla Dan Kayla uh Kolo the edge color the edges edges pink here here what you should do first is write your name big and bold I said thanks Kenya said Kayla so she white her name as big as she can but not too big and mine was the same size as her after that we started coloring kayla make the the corners the corners pink draw a picture of herself looks ugly and does the line and does the line red meanwhile with me i was drawing pink and purple stripes down low and up high when we're done, we showed Mrs. Pecknall our drawing. Mrs. Pecknall, Mrs. Pecknall, we both said. We're done, and here's the freaking picture. I seriously can't feel bad enough for you, Kenya. God, why I keep on pulling up her soot to see her chest? Great job, guys! So, Kayla have recess. Recess with only one S. And Kenya could wait at the bus, said Mrs. Pecknell. So, I walked to the front door, and my bus wasn't here. Wait, so... Why would they all helping if all they have to do is create a name tag? They can do it by themselves. They don't need other people, other high schoolers help. So I walked to the front door and my bus wasn't here. So I play at their playground. How old are you? Okay, now just kidding. I think I still play in the playground even though I'm too tall. In a few minutes later, everyone was there, and the bus was there, so we all go inside the bus. <laughs> Again, great grammar. Yep. In a few minutes later, everyone walked there, and the bus was there, so we all go inside the bus. You still repeating the same word two times. Jeez. Chapter wait wait it's oh oh wait that's it oh thank goodness home sweet home yay we finally go to Westna High okay guys here are your music folder and and yes here are your music folder if you're in my class and uh, Mr. Medley Medley so we get our music folder now get your backpack because it's time to go to home said miss penny so i go to my locker and type my code really in my school i had to like you know yeah i don't have a code well i mean i do but you know it's like those schools but whatever every school is different so i'm not even gonna pick on that So I get my backpack. Later, Sammy was there in his locker. Hi, Sammy. What did you do? I asked. Gym and science. That's it? <laughs> Seriously, this school needs better with, with actually having the, the necessary classes. Even though they're not necessary, they are necessary in a school. Even though they're not necessary in real life, they're necessary in school. Oh, Jim and Science, how about you? He asked back. Acting and music, I said. Then we go to the parking lot. When we when we're done um, meeting our locker, what does that say? 
Uncle Jack came and picked us up. Where's Kiki? I asked. Remember she went to collage? Sammy corrected. Oh, said Uncle Jack. That's why I couldn't pick her up. You are so darn stupid. Then we went home. Uncle Jack, I asked, what were we supposed to do to Kika? What are we supposed to do to Kiki's room? We're going to change it to a playroom. Oh wow, what if she came back and became a real dropout? There will just be a playroom. Also, how old are you? I mean, I know how old are you, but you're acting like you're five. And why do you even call it a playroom if you're 16 years old? Just why? You're just so darn stupid. That's why. That's why. <sighs> Sammy and I make goo go go eyes a playhouse, we said. That will be super cool. So we go to Kika Kiki room and they already have the playhouse set so Sammy and I play with it. You guys have fun, said Uncle Jack. Cool TV, I said. So we watched some shows and it was very fun without Kiki in the house. <laughs> that's that's so savage. It was very fun without Kiki in the house. <laughs> My God, Ken, Kenya. My God, that's so savage. The end. Yay. That was a great ending. To be honest. It was so fun without Kiki in the house. <laughs> What if, he, what if she saw that? What if she actually comes back and become a real dropout? Then, oops. <sighs> oh, whatever. Yay. God, we have like 20 minutes. Oh, God, there's more. Plus, I need to get the book from upstairs because that have more Kenya. Okay, so done, done, done. What time is it? It's dawn time. I don't even want to read that. Nope. Oh, nope. It's time for the movie, the musical adventure of Kenya and Sammy, beginning now. Oh God! Just look at this. I was a fan of the Amazing World of Gumball. If you didn't know. The musical adventure with Kenya and Sammy. That was an unnecessary joke. Oh, God. It's already started with what I assume to be copyright. Sing your the music. Seeing you are the music of me, Sharping, where I am uh, yeah, from High School Musical, too. Yay. <sighs> Yay, everyone does test. Fun. So, actors or actress names. Even more fun. Song is over. Bell ring 20 minutes later. Kenya woke up. Then she yawned first. Kenya, it's time to wake up, said Uncle Jack. I know, Kenya said. Okay, what happened to Aunt Lisa? She, like, disappeared. <laughs> now it's Uncle Jack. Yay. Okay, but you gotta see if you're in 11th grade or not, he said. 
even if you get bad grades or about to move, like, seriously, I got a C in math last year, and guess what? I still made it to ninth grade. I will be there in the playroom, Kenya. So Kenya says. So she go to her closet and get dressed. So whoever playing Kenya won't be naked in front of TV. Well, of course, because that would just be porn if she was. Finish, she said herself. So she go to the playroom. Hey Sammy, I said, are you ready to go to college? What make you said that? He asked. Uncle Jack said that today, the day we finally get our test. Can you explain? You mean final exam? But we'll have a test. It to Sammy. I got my suitcase packed just in case. I pass, Sammy Wink. Just in case I pass, Sammy Wink. Okay, guys, it's time for school," said Jack. "Okay, Uncle Jack," Sammy and I said together. Later at Rosa and Wanda's house. Okay, so this is uh, extremely like we only like, take fiction, everybody. Rosa and Wanda get get out of their room while their dad spinning on the wheelchair. So, girls, did you tell them your secret? He said. Nope, said Rosa. We didn't tell them that we that we are aliens in disguise. Yep, yeah, because it's all natural t for white people to have black hair. It's all natural, so they're aliens. Realistic, realistic fiction, everybody. They, realistic fiction. They're aliens. Because white people can't wear black hair unless they're goths. <laughs> Just choked on some air. Okay, now my hair is all over the place. Okay, let's, let's just keep it like that. Oh, that's that good, said Will Sam Wayne's dad. Now hurry, you're late for school. Okay, they both said, so they got in the bus at school. We all lined up to see our test grade. We, When they come to me, they saw my test grade. Congrat congratulations, Kenya. You got you get A's, a few B's, and one D. Yay. That's like my grade. Except Oh yeah, it's like my grade. <laughs> Wait, did I got D in English? I don't know. I forgot. I think I got like a C or D in English. I know. And I know why, but trust me, I, I know better than this. So you're a fit so you're official in eleventh grade, then Mrs. Steve wait, the Mrs the Miss Penny said. Why what did you get a D? Sammy asked. Jim, I said, Oh I thought you left Jim. I'm pretty bad at sports. Okay. Don't have to be good at them. After that, Sammy checked his test review. Sammy, said Miss Penny, you got an A on sports, B minus on science, B plus on Spanish, the rest of them D's, and a, and a, and a F for on acting and music, so you didn't pass a test. Oh, pfft. are you kidding me? You don't even have to pass that test just because you failed at acting and music means that you can't go to college. I mean, I understand. Like, you need to learn like one or 
like you need to learn one or two languages i think to get into college but seriously just because you're bad at acting and music you don't go to college that's just so stupid like you don't have to be good at acting and music like what if you're not gifted with that talent that you're it's natural you I don't even know what to say. Just Jesus, just because you're bad at acting and music means that you can't go to college. <laughs> That's just so, so. I know if. I think I'm. I think my brain is about to lose out of my mind. I'm just, I'm just acting like that. It's like, oh, that's so, that's so, that's just, so, I think I'm having a mental breakdown because that's just so psychotic. I see. Let's just move on. I think. Why do these stories always break me? This is Maddie, but they're my two favorite classes, I said, so he go to Mr. Maddie's office. Then Rosa and Rana come. Sorry that we're late, said Rana. It's okay, girls. You passed ninth grade, she said. Yes, yeah, said Rosa and Rana. Now we're big tenth grade, just like Kenya and McKenna, said Rana. While with Kenya, she was following Sammy to Mr. Meddy's office. Okay, Mr. Gutter, hair attention. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. My God, I remember my sister laughing. I had Sammy Gutter, like Gobbler. <sighs> you'll, you'll be in a musical adventure with a partner, he said. We all look like fiction, everybody. I need a break. Then Mrs. Castley come and tried to act somewhere. She interrupted. So someone have to help you with both of them. You know you don't have to be good at music and acting to pass college. How many times I have to say that? Like Jeebus. Like those are just electives. You don't have to be good at them just to like you can't go to a music college, like, and if it is a music college, then that's just forcing your beliefs. I don't even know anymore. This is just stupid. It's really stupid. I feel so sorry for Kenya. I'm actually crying on the inside. <laughs> said Mr. Maddie. I'll do it, said Kenya. Then Mrs. Ma Mr. Mr. Maddie tapped his chin. Come on, she in, she is in both of our class, said Miss Sis Castley. Fine, find Kenya will be your partner, said Mr. Medi. So when the bell ring, it's time for everyone to get in their classes. Now start on your musical adventure, he said. Then Rosa and Rana was walking on the hallway. Then they saw Kenya. Hey Kenya, said Rosa, fake coughing. Then they both started fake coughing. Yay. Wanna hang out, said Rana in a sick voice. So, wanna hang out? <laughs> that was a real. <coughs> that was real. Sorry, I have to hang out with Sammy to help him pass, said Kenya. Besides, are you guys okay? We're sick, but our dad said that we're okay, said Rosa. Then, then go to the office, I said. Wait. Is it 
third person and then fourth and then first person like are you guys okay then Kenya and then I said who's I unless I said they waiter so okay so did God say dad go to the office like seriously get it so they started going yay so what do we do Kenya asks like, you don't even know what to do I don't know, like sing, Sammy guessed. Okay, if you ask for it, said Kenya. Kenya began to sing. Oh god, I know about the songs now. <laughs> Wait, is it right? Okay, just in case I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, jeebus. Do I do this? Yeah, let's do this. So, my god, it goes. I remember how it goes. Okay, so Kenya says, We all in stage. Not really. You can do it. And then Sammy says, No, you can do it. No, you can feel the stage. <laughs> you can do it. No, you can do it. No. <sighs> do I? Uh, nah. I'm God, I remember. Wait, what does it say? You are famous to the world. Not really. You can do it. No, you can do it. No, it's so cool that it's so cool. What are these lyrics? You can do it. No, you can do it. No, you are stylish. Just you are. My God, I remember my sister laughing when, like. I've changed it to stylus, but it used to say beautiful. My god. You are stylus just the way you are. Don't change a look and to be popular. This doesn't even make sense! Like, seriously, why are you even. T like, why does it take music and acting to be in college? That's changing someone. You can do it, no, you can do it, no, you can do it. Yay. Don't even think that was supposed to be in that scene, but whatever. Just in case. Video's about to be over. So where was I? Okay, Kenyon begins to say, Okay, okay, I get it now, I think. I think, said Sammy, you think, I said. You got to know if you want to pass this test. Is there something wrong with us, doctor? Said Wanna. Then their nose was running, so their doctor put on gloves and smelled their stomach. Are you? What kind of doctor does that? Oh, Grace, 20%. Nah, I mean, the time's almost gonna run out. So what kind of doctor smells their snot? I don't think that's like seriously. I know doctors smell pee, but they don't smell snot. That's just oh my god, that not snot. It's alien junk," said the doctor. When we get sick, that we don't do snot. Was I explained? Okay, girls, you guys could walk home," said the doctor. So they starting doing it. <laughs> Then Kenya and Sammy went to the secret entrance of the music room. What all were here for? Sammy asked. You see, said Kenya, so she pulled Kenya to the recording studio. Cool, said Sammy. Okay, I think that's what the song began. I saw the holy. So he played with some uh, die, and it's just supposed to say disc, and making music. Everyone in Mr. Meddy's class heard the music and tapped their feet. It's the one kind of there. Along the music and everyone get out of their class and go to the recording stu studio. In a few minutes he was done. Then the bell ring. It's time for lunch, everybody, said Mr. Meddy. Then everyone walked to the lunchroom and it was a Rosa and Rana. It was that Globe, globe, yeah. Walk away, he said. But where's Rosa and Wana? Then 
They opened the door. Hi, Dad, said Werner. Oh, said their dad. You're back early. Yeah, and we pretend to be sick, said Rosa. Wait, why can't they just get out of school instead of pretending to be sick? Like, why can't they just stay at home and then say they're sick? That's more believable. I mean, like, you don't have to pull out the whole alien junk stuff. You could, you could, like, their dad could just say that they're sick and, you know, they're puking and need to stay home. You could just do that. That would be much easier and less suspicious. Okay, I forgot where I was. Hi, Dad, said Werner. Oh, said old Dad, you're back early. Yeah, and we pretend to be sick, said Rosa. You guys are just in time to destroy Kenya. <gasps> Since when did that came? Said Rosa, Werner, sad. Sure, said Werner. Okay, well, I guess the aliens plan to destroy Kenya and specifically Kenya. Yeah, I still don't even know why. Just why? I mean, do they hate Kenya as much as I do? Not you, Kenya. Oh God. Sure, said Werner. We'll find a weapon. <laughs> then we go to the lunchroom to get our lunch, but Sammy and I was at an, uh, an empty table that some, people, that some people use. So what should we do? Sammy asked. I don't know, eat lunch? Let's make a musical, said Kenya. Oh yeah, make a musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Wait, what, said Sammy? Same. You guys can just eat lunch. You guys aren't to be that weird. Oh god, Kenya sings I want it all from High School Musical 3. Yay. God, was I a big fan of Champagne? Um... Seriously, that would have been real copyright from High School Musical. Still, don't get it, says Sammy. Oh, wow, that, that was unnecessary. You soon will, said Kenya. Then we went to the pool. Okay. Ah, said Kenya. Best senior prank. Then she high-fived Sammy. And the best part is we're not at school, he said. This pool remind me of Ariel, is that supposed is that what it's supposed to say? It's spelled A R E I L. That's how you spell Ariel. Say Kenya, first I didn't pass my music class, but now you're talking about Disney princesses? Sammy asked. Okay, it's just Ariel. Not just that, I said she sings. Yeah, like all Disney princesses except for Merida. Please don't sing, say Sammy. Hey, said Miss Penny, what are you doing bringing a pool to school? Come, uh, zoom out to see the pool. Oh, sorry, said Kenya. We were too relaxed. We forgot that we were at school. Here, what a swimming teacher do, said Miss Penny, grabbing her <clears throat> Me megaphone. Get out of the pool now! So Kenya and Sammy listen to her and they get out. Later, we go to our lockers because school was over. Ah, uh, a break from school, said Kenya, which means no music, said Sammy. Wait, what? Okay, 17%. I'm so going to do this. Later, we... Wait, where was I? Okay, so they got... Later, we... Okay. No music, says Sammy. We'll still be doing that, Kenya giggled. Oh, wow. <laughs> then all the light was off, and it is light on and off and off at the same time. Then it shows Rosa and Wanda's house on and off, on, off, on, off. So where so was that where this no was, um what does it say? ID with a what is that supposed to say? At uh, play with the switches. It says switches that control the school. Dad said Werner, fine, he says. So he turned 
the lights on, but then Rosa started to turn the lights off. Hey, who's turned the lights? said Kenya. Yeah, why did you do that? asked their dad. But that the uh, plan to think they're late, then they see the time, and it was 4.39. Oh, said Rosa, they're all, they already late. Well, wait a, well, we can still go outside, said Kenya, so she opened the door, but it was locked. Sammy said, Kenya, it locked. Oh, come on, said Sammy. Here's something musical, said Kenya, pulling Sammy on. Here it is, the acne stage, I said. Please, don't make me wear them. Wait, wear what, said Sammy, then Kenya shot shot Sammy with um, bow and arrow, and then he fa- OH MY GOD! Davis! Can you use a murderer now? Seriously? Can you use a murderer now? This is just- <laughs> Oh my Jeebus. <laughs> Wait, seriously, I was about to go to sleep. My god, imagine- oh My god, I wish I could like add sound effects and all that stuff. God, so please don't make me wear that," says Sammy, with with a bow and arrow. Then he, then Kenya shot with a bow and arrow, and then he faint. Don't worry," said Kenya. It only wasted for twenty seconds. Then it was dark, and then Sammy died. The end. Kenya's a murderer. I wish that was the end. <laughs> Sammy almost opened his eyes and he blinked a little and he see himself wearing the costume. Ah, oh, he said, surprise to Kenya. Oh my god, who carries that? It's like, it's like a rape drug. Jesus, this is supposed to be for kids. Guy, I think we're gonna end it here. No, we're gonna continue so we can see what happens next. Okay, everyone, presenting a musical that nobody was here. Oh, wow. No wonder nobody was here. You just killed Sammy. Well, you didn't kill Sammy. Just you used a rape drug on him. Then nobody was here. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now presenting a musical with Kenya and Sammy. But there are Sammy paused. Music please, can you interrupt this, Sammy? Uh, wait till you play old music when, while Kenya sing. Ay, 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 oh, what oh, oh, the wonderful day, ay, 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 what the, what's my percent now? It's 14 percent, we're still going until like 50, 50, 50. Okay, so still don't get it, says Sammy. Come on, you come on, you don't it what? Sammy whined. Wait no can they whine. Guess what, Dad? We find a trick, said Rosa. We find a is real uh, invisible case that only be break by music. Oh wow, what a coincidence. Why? Why did they even try to trap Kenya anyways? There's like no reason. That's the plan. Nobody could break the curse while they're in a cage, she said. I liked it, said their dad. But try some other traps. Okay, dad, said Rosa and Rihanna, so they go back to their room. Hmm, twin spell, no flying spell, no, 
Twin spell? No. Flying spell? No. Sanwana. 20 minutes later. Best friend spell? Yep, that's all, she said. And that's the end. Well, not really the end, just... Wait, no. Do I stop here? Yeah, we still have more time. Yep. So, this is going to be the last page. Invisible cage it is, she said. Kenya and Sammy walk at the hallway. While they think was else to do, they keep on walking in circles, but it just shows the same like the music. Like the music room, acting class, and the secret entrance. Sorry, Sammy, there's nothing to do here, said Kenya. Nothing? Nothing? Ken Sammy shouted. No need to shout, Kenya. Yeah, no need to shout, Kenya said, a little bit angered. I spent this music adventure for nothing, he said. Yes, you did, Sammy. I am proud of you for realizing that. Okay, I was late because of you and your white. This music adventure is over. Yes! <laughs> but I was trying to help, said say Kenya. Then Sammy ignore her and go to the door. I forgot the door was locked because of you, said Sammy. So he goes to gym class. Then Kenya goes to someone's locker in her back and tapped her foot. Kenya sing. Oh yeah, that's a song to that. Yeah, okay, oh my god, now I remember. Jesus, I, I forgot one song since. My god, I didn't even mark that song. Oh my god. These lyrics are so stupid, so I guess this will be the end. But I'll say that what can you sing? I'm gonna be starting later. Oh my god, most of this is just. Oh, wait, okay, so. Whatever, let's just do this. You see, you look, you see who you are. Are you serious? I want to listen to my songbook than this. You're cute. That does that doesn't mean you're popular. What? <laughs> because you like sports and I like singing. Okay. To you or the will be just creepy to me and you. I don't even get it. Seriously, my old songbook makes sense than these lyrics. Well, I guess that's so. Wait, no, no, no. Just in case I forgot, I'm gonna read this too. Even though most of them are just a waste because you know, the like seriously. Just, oh God, I just tear it up. Not damn paper. Okay, so. My god, oh my god, it even says commercial break is done in Cartoon Network, so this will be gonna be on Cartoon Network. Yay. Even though it's not a cartoon. Jesus. Kenya deserves better. Uh, whatever, last one, then we're done. I just helped Sammy, but he doesn't like it, me. Oh wow, no wonder, I don't like you too. It all my fault because I got late because of me, uh, just fake because of me. Sammy really hate me. I know what to. I need help for. I need something to see. Listen to me, yeah. Listen to me, yeah. Please just listen to me. No, it's it. This is all. Socks are stupid. I'm not gonna listen to you. I don't even care about you. So, so long. Sign Noah.